What's going on guys, Orzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Winter Wildcard Martial to review and it's a player that just hasn't had the stats upgraded. He also has had his weak foot upgraded going from a 4 star weak foot to a 5 star weak foot and his work rate as well. His gold card is low, low. Imagine they sat there and released a winter wild card, Martial, like this, with low, low, low work rates. So many people will genuinely look at that card and just throw it to the side. No one would even like take a take a second look at it. No one wants a low, low work rate striker. But the fact that EA have gone ahead and gave him high, low work rate is simply incredible. Now the stats on the card is looking top tier. He's got 92 pace, 93 dribbling, 87 shooting, 84 passing, with the 80 physicals as well. If we are taking a look at how big of an upgrade it actually is. We're the stat we are talking about a plus five to the pace a plus eight to the dribbling a plus seven to the shooting a plus four to the defending a plus 11 to the passing and a plus 12 to the physicals as well now this ain't a cheap car look how much i bought him for nearly an, nearly a mil coins mil coins for a card like this i mean his stats look incredible though doesn't he like look at that passing passing shooting dribbling pace and even physicals he's got it to his game by the way the biggest upgrade that they actually gave to this card is the stamina the stamina used to be 68 yeah if they kept it like that mm, yeah that would have not looked good that would not look good at all but they actually gave it a plus 18 making it 86 stamina which is more than enough for a striker now the chem style i have decided to go for is the hawk chem style i definitely do feel like the hawk chem style is just simply the way to go like you are giving this guy 97 acceleration with 97 sprint speed then you are giving this guy 93 attacking positioning 95 finishing 98 shot power with 92 long shots while also giving him 92 penalties and then on top of that you're giving him 90 strength 90 strength on a striker with pace dribbling shooting it looks insane genuinely looks insane i am definitely looking forward to this review and i'm definitely looking forward to see how good of a card he actually is now has he got any shooting traits he does finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait what honestly what could you ask for more like you could ask for the five star skill moves yes but come on, the guy's got so many good stuff to his game. An outrageous amount of stuff to his game. Now, the links as well are top tier. Like, you can move this guy into a CDM position if you really want to. You get a hyperlink. Hyperlink with your boy Varan. You also get strong links with, uh, not strong links, sorry, weak links with Kapu, Awa, and your boy Mbappe. And a weak link to your boy Dembele as well. The links are incredible. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing Martial in one position and one position only. And it is going to be the striker position because you best believe I am personally not paying a million coins to play this guy down the line. It's not happening. You best believe we're playing him in that striker position and a striker position only. So let's get into the games and let's see how good of a card he actually is. Pass that down there. Martial, you're going to make that movement. He is going to make that movement. He actually realized where that open space was instantly. Is he going to come back on side as well? He does. He tries to make that movement again. See how good maybe his dribbling ability is. We do so well to create the angle, to go for that shot, and look at that finish on that five-star weak foot. Play that inside, Dembele. There you go. Martial actually dropping deep. See how maybe how he feels on the ball. I just want to see those little touches that he's taking. He has got a unique body type, by the way, so... It's going to be interesting to see how his dribbling actually is. And it does seem very good. You see those little touches that he's taking. Can I go for a ball roll there as well? I'm doing a little bit too much. I know I am. But you know what? Why not? Use his pace now to get down the line. Ball roll that again. Inside. Extra pass. Can we get the finish? Yes, we can. Go, Kapu. Keep going. There you go. Give it up. Ball roll this. Use that pace now. Can I continue using that pace? I can. And that is a very weird penalty. Probably the weirdest penalty that I've actually been given. But I'll take it, man. I will take it. The thing is, right, with him having 90 strength there, I actually thought he was going to stay on his feet. But as I said, man, we'll take the penalty. He's got 92 pens to his game as well. As I said to you guys, there's only going to be one place that we're going to slot this. That seems very good, but he's moved towards that direction and he still can't save it. Give that into the inside. First time past that. That's actually really lucky to get there. Martial, really nice dribbling. See if I can maybe just fake him out a little bit. Go for that ball roll again. Oh, you best believe. Especially with the finesse shot trait, we have to go for it. But check pulls out a nice save. There you go. Martial, you're going to make that movement into that space. He eventually sees it. He didn't see it first time, though, which is uh, kind of disappointing. But he saw it eventually. Nice dribbling. But we couldn't get around Kampembe there. I'm just going to continue running with Awa here. Martial just consistently coming short. He makes a beautiful 
run through the gap and once again the keeper has no chance of saving it it's going straight into the corner and that's not even like green timed or anything just play it through there there you go pass it down get back into the middle martial with some very good movement trying to get away from Kempembe here he gets in front of him once again not even timed going straight into the corner you can tell you can definitely tell his finishing ability is top tier I'm just gonna give it to feet here because he's literally just coming short so often and look at the pace man look at the pace the one thing that I can definitely tell I'm really enjoying about this card is not worrying which foot I need to shoot on because of that five star weak foot I'm allowed to shoot with both feet and as you clearly can see, I can shoot perfectly with it. Turn to Mbappe. Look at that dribbling from Mbappe. Use that pace as well. Give it inside to Martial. Decent turn. Great use of pace. Look at that, man. Ball roll. Keep it simple. I say keep it simple, yet I'm not really keeping it simple, am I? Go for a turn there. And again, ball roll in front. No way. <gasps> Please. It's a, it went in eventually. It went in eventually. I should have probably power shotted that. And not finesse like that. Why can't that like end in a goal with him? His dribbling there was incredible. Bro, I'll scoop that, Vinny. Look at Martial. Realizing where that open space is. What a really good pass. Tried to go for a few skill moves here. I wish he had five-star skill moves. The, with the way he dribbles and stuff, I can just tell five-star skill moves on a card would be so, so good. Let's see if we can actually score a header here. Come on, man. Near post. What goal, Martial? You're literally wide open. No. No. Lloris. Why do you have to ruin it? Like... When I was doing the Alessandrini review as well, Lloris was just saving everything. Hit that forward. Can I get that pass across? Yes, I can. I'm going to go for one, two here. Just use that pace to get in behind. And I can guarantee you guys, as soon as Martial gets in behind, there's not going to be many players that catches up to him. I should have took advantage of that guy. Actually, tackling early. Oh my God, please, please. Oh my God, man. Like, what is this card? The way he can just dribble on that line without it going out of play as well. And this guy, I believe, accidentally just gave me the ball. <laughs> Come on, Martial. Let's give this another go. Come on. That's decent. That's decent. That's green timed as well. That's the thing, right? With the Hawk Chem style, you're giving this guy plus 10 to his jumping. So his jumping, being 90, is actually going to be really good. And he can give you a heading ability as well. Win that header. Well played. Is he going to make a run in behind? He is, but I saw that he didn't switch a Kempembe. Good ball roll. Go for that skill move there. See if I can maybe just use his pace. You see that certain touch right there? Like he does, I do know, he does do that time to time where you're just trying to get around the corner and it looks like he forces himself to take two touches apart from one. Give that over to Martial. Nice. Ball roll early into the inside. Really good acceleration. Just going to continue going forward. And somehow we kind of get pushed off the ball, but I feel like that was more of a foul if anything, right? But it doesn't matter. We get the goal eventually. We'll roll that just to keep that in. Martial, I see you making that movement towards the near post. He actually cut back, which I didn't really expect. We've done so well. We're going to hit this. No way the block comes into play there. Fake him out. Look at that, man. Green timed as well. Another block. You see that dribbling, though? Like, with how he keeps it so close to his feet, it honestly makes your opponent just so confused. You don't... They have literally no idea where you are going to turn to. And that was a nice run from Furlan Mendy, but he stopped it. Go Mbappe, come on. Use that pace. I'm going to double flick this. Keep it going. Can I get around and go like Kante? Obviously, I can. Look at Martial. He isn't like full pelt running, but he near enough is. Good turn. Really good scoop turn. Power shot as well. I, I, I don't, what, what can I say? Jenny, what can I say? Like, what is that? His finishing ability is disgusting. The fact that he can do that with both feet as well. Come on. There you go. Vinny's eventually made it. Keep it going. Look in the middle. You see how Martial has just outpaced your boy Varane. Oh, this guy tried to move the keeper. I went for the ball roll thinking he was going to actually bring out the keeper, but he just moved it towards the far, far post and I just hit it towards the near post. Just give that over to Dembele. Good fake shot. Play that through ball. Go for a fake shot here as well. I see a pass all the way to the top. Oh, we able to do it. Yes, we are. Even though his long passing isn't anything crazy. I believe it's like 79. The thing about him is the fact that he's got a really high vision. I believe it's like 86. So that is going to balance out a little bit. And he will be able to play those kind of passes time to time. Should we give the header another go? I mean, he's already scored on, right? I do see Varane towards the near post. Is he going to beat Varane? I really doubt it. But he did challenge it pretty well. It's just we are not going to come out with it. Look at that strength, though. Go for it. Green timed as well. Imagine. I'm done. I'm done with this card. I'm done. How? Genuinely how he recovers so well, uses his strength to bully that player off the ball, and then a finesse shot 
just like that. So it is time to review and we ended up playing six games with Martial. We actually scored 11 goals, but we didn't come out with a single assist, but push the assist to her side. 11 goals in six games. You saw what this card was doing. I could genuinely couldn't believe it with his shooting ability. And the thing is as well, he is so unpredictable inside the box. His dribbling ability is really nice. Then you can turn onto the left foot, smack it perfectly. You turn onto the right foot, you can smack it perfectly. It's honestly like a 50-50 for your opponent to the defend against Martial. And it's honestly insane, genuinely insane to see. And on top of that as well, the finesse shot. Wow. Just straight wow. The animation this guy gets himself into with the finesse shot is incredible like you can tell he hits it with a lot of power you can tell the accuracy is there as well and you can tell it's not going to be easy to a keeper to just go ahead and save it so yeah the shooting ability is by far the thing that stood out on this card the pace as well really really good and on top of that the strength like the pace and strength combine with each other because once he gets in behind let's say a Kempembe or even a Varane does catch up to this guy he uses that 90 strength holds off the player for a good amount of time, allowing me to take my time and then go for the power shot across goal or even towards the near post. The only thing I was honestly scared about, let's say, about this card was the dribbling ability. I didn't know how that unique body type was going to suit like the dribbling stats. I didn't know if they were going to come together really nicely. I literally had no idea because I'm not that kind of person to use Martial this year, you know, especially the gold card. I went nowhere near with those low, low work rates. So it's like, I didn't know how it was going to be in game. But I'm impressed. I genuinely am. The only thing that I could question with the dribbling is when I was slowly trying to get around a corner, he would take two touches apart from one. And then that would allow the defender to go in for the tackle. But if you're turning at like a 180, if you're just dribbling on the spot as well, it's genuinely, genuinely beautiful. Now, the card is going for a million coins. A mil. Yeah, listen, when you can get Neymar, Messi... Uh, you can, I'm pretty sure you can get Mbappe on Xbox for less than that as well. Martial is not going to be worth that amount. He just straight up isn't. But trust me, this card is insane. Do I believe he is the best striker in the whole of the Premier League? Listen, there's a lot of contenders. I'm going to be honest. He's better than a uh, Gabriel versus Fire card and versus Ice card. I would honestly take this card over Fabinho as well. I would because of how he feels. And Fabinho time to time with the dribbling ability, it isn't anything crazy. With Martial, you can tell those quick twists and turns are definitely there. So yeah, I would take him over Fabinho in a striker position. The only person that I'm going to be honest, I question is your boy CR7. Do I take him over CR7? I'll tell you guys right now, he's got a better finish than CR7. His dribbling ability is better as well. It really all comes down to if... You need the five-star skill moves or not. If you need the five-star skill moves, then Ronaldo will obviously be the best for you. If you don't, Martial is the best striker in the whole of the Premier League. He is simply, simply incredible. Now, where would he go in the attacker's tier list? S tier. He goes straight up there into the S tier. I genuinely can't believe how good of a card he actually is. I did not expect him to be this good. I honestly didn't. But what a card. 100% S tier tier card but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace